for everyone. I drove Alberta to Cheddar this morning, parked her up for the day at £5.50 for the day. I don't normally do that, I normally get a bus and it don't cost me nothing, but the buses I don't run very long now, in, they don't do any evening runs. The last bus is about 6 o'clock from Cheddar. And I hate having to rush. I sometimes have to really walk fast back to get just to get back, so you miss a lot. Anyway, as you know, I got chased by cows last year, so I tend to avoid them. But today I had to do an hour and a half diversion to get where I am now. Because there was a massive I walked right into them. And unbeware there was a big huge bull. A big black bull was there, as I noticed once I backed off. I nearly walked right into them, round a corner. So I managed to escape that. And then I noticed there were hundreds of them. I wasn't expecting them. I've walked that way loads of times. Anyway, in the end, rather than walk through them or risk it, because some of the cows were jumping around, they, they were acting like they are mad. But, um... So I uh, basically, I had to do like a big loop, probably an hour and a half on my time. They put the price of the parking as well, so I had to go and look for a shop to give me change of a fiver. Anyway, I've done a bit of this walk before. I've been over, obviously there's Roebarrow, Roebarrow Warren they call it. Um, it's... It's a mining pile, really, from the past. It's full of lead around here. It's not really the sort of place you want to camp. Anyway, I came down last year, but I ran out of video and film. By the time I got to the top of that hill, I managed to take one picture down that valley, and then I ran out. So I said, I must come back. So um, I've been down that way before and across by the quarry and back to uh, Winscombe that way as well. So I've done quite a bit. Today I came that way, past the long, close to Longwood, not in Longwood, and back round through the long sheep field. So I'm going for a walk round the wood now. I might go to the Robo Fort, but I'm going to end up right over there. Eventually, several hours time, I shall end up right over there where those um, aerial masts are, masts are. There's some aerial masts, there they are. I'm going to end up over there lately, um, later and then come back through Velvet Bottom. Because I don't have to worry about getting back for the bus, so it's an all day thing. I did forget my apple my cheese and tomatoes, that's not anything. With a long trip, I usually take extras and I forgot. So I've only got, um, I've had the banana, I've had a fruit bar. I've got oranges, another fruit bar and a packet of cheese and a cake. It's enough to keep me going. And I'm restricting my water, so I've got water. I've got water for the outward journey, which is, I'm still on the outward journey. Right, I've still got water for the outward journey. And, um, a bottle of water for the back when I come back. And there's a beautiful valley over there. It'll come into view even better as I climb up the hill. It's a beautiful valley, that is. Very, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. I'm going to take some photographs of that in a minute. So I'm out in the beautiful Somerset countryside. It's windier than they said. And once that big cloud... It's not moving very quickly, but once it does, or the sun moves... There will be a chance for me to get a bit of sun again. People come and park down here, see, and then go up. Oh, this is the Mendips. Uh, if you, the track I'm going to, which is up straight up there, there's a track. I'll just zoom in. 
I'm going to be climbing up that track there, look. To the top. But there's an old bunker there. And there's beautiful views. That's, that gets you on top of the area of outstanding beauty, which is the, men, the bulk of the Mendip Hills is there. Some people do this walk and there's a pub over the other side of the woods at Row Barrow there's a pub people often do do the pub as part of their walk and then walk back to Cheddar or wherever they go back to this this place where people park I'm doing a, well I, it is a big walk I've got to class it as a big walk today because I'm doing extra but um, of course I didn't bring any waterproofs because the weather forecast said it was going to be no cloud, blue skies and hot with little wind. Well, how untrue is that? I mean, this, it is coming out. It is getting better and it is nice. I mean, the wind is keeping me cool, so I don't want to drink as much. Right, over and out for a minute.